Hello. For the duration of this video, I will explain the main differences between the Okta user profile and the application user profile. Let us start. In order to see the profiles that are currently present on the Okta tenant, open the directory menu, then select the profile editor section. Under the profile editor section, we will see a list of all of the user profiles that are present on this Okta tenant. We can filter them if needed using the filters from the left side. Each Okta tenant is using a default Okta user profile. All of the attributes that are visible under this profile will be used for all Okta users. There is also the option to create a separate Okta user profile by clicking on the Create Okta user type button, but this will not be covered in this video. The Okta profile contains 41 base attributes. but it can also support custom attributes. Custom attribute can be created by clicking on the Add Attribute button. Some of the base attributes can be modified. For example, the first name and the last name. These attributes can be set as required or optional. Another example would be the username. You can use the format restriction control to change the default format or replace it with a specific set of allowed characters. An application profile contains all of the attributes that will appear in the application user profile of any user assigned to that application. All users in Okta have a user profile for each application that they are assigned to. The application user profile is used to store application-specific information about the users, application username, user role, licenses, etc. The application user profile lists the application attributes that Okta can read and write to. It also controls the attributes that Okta pushes to an app or imports from an app. Unlike Okta user profile, a user may have multiple application user profiles. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to check the Okta support playlist for other similar videos.